All right, the next step now is to create a, a login view. This time it's going to be a little bit easier than creating the sign up because uh, for the login, logout, password change and password reset, we have uh, built-in views in the Django core. So what we want to do is just to include uh, this path here into our project. So we just paste it here and now include the import the include function and uh, here we can see the URLs that we are going to have we can use this as a reference the path here is not very uh, important but maybe we can use the name to create the uh, the links so very similar to what we did with the sign up let's create an additional URL name it login so here we are this time we won't need to create a, a view here but just a, a template just an HTML so if we try to open here we are going to see an error because this template doesn't exist so Django will provide you the the path the view and the form but it's up to you to create the, the HTML so let's create it so inside templates registration login it's going to be actually very similar to what we have on the sign up so we can just copy and paste just just rename here to login but the rest is pretty much the same thing just uh, rendering the the form we are going to add something else here later on but just uh, for the time being that's more than enough so here we are sign up and the login we can try to log in with one of those accounts that I created in the previous video and here what happened uh, the login was successful but then the default installation tries to uh, redirect the user to this accounts slash profile page we can change that here in the settings we can add a new configuration which is login redirect URL so we can put here either the name or the path so if the path would be just here to send to the home page or we can use the name of the URL pattern so let's save and check again let's go to login and try again there we are so here uh, what we can do now is instead of uh, showing visitor maybe we can put the name of the user so let's go here to sublime and home and then we can put here user dot username so if we log in with the let's the second user that I had created welcome to my site Peter Chu.